So today I'm talking about a Nissan with the P0440 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. So what is the Nissan P0440 code? Well, it's an evaporative emission control system malfunction. And what does this mean? Well, modern cars have an EVAP system that helps contain all the gas vapors inside the gas tank, and they get sent back into the engine and get burnt off so they don't escape into the atmosphere. And the onboard computer seeing a problem with this, so it'll have to be troubleshooted, know why. And some of the possible causes, well, it could be a bad fuel cap, could be a bad purge valve, charcoal canister, vent valve, pressure sensor, could be in the wiring, and possibly an EVAP leak. And so the EVAP system is made up of several components. So basically, there's a hose connected to the gas tank, and the gas vapors will go out through it. First, they'll go to a part called the charcoal canister, which does different things. Mainly, it stores the gas vapors when the engine's not running. And it usually also contains the vent valve solenoid. It's usually located on the charcoal canister. This is up and underneath by the gas tank. And then the hoses leave, and then they go up to the top of the engine, and there'll be a purge valve. And so the first thing to do is to go check out the gas cap, because the gas cap is a part of the EVAP system. And the EVAP system needs to be sealed and in a slight vacuum in order to work and if the gas cap's not sealing then it'll cause problems it could cause a leak so go examine it check it for any cracks any damage anything like this it might be good but if it is bad then it could be a problem if you do replace it be sure to get an oem original gas cap as sometimes third party aftermarket gas caps they don't work so good or can cause issues in some cases so first thing to do go examine the gas cap and then the next thing that you can go and check is the purge valve this is located up and inside of the engine compartment it'll have two hoses going to it be sure to check these hoses that they're connected good there's no cracks or any leaks going on to check out the wiring harness anything bad with the wiring can cause the same symptoms as a bad solenoid so be sure that it's connected good there's no problems with the wiring or anything like that and these can be tested if you wanted to to be sure that it's working good but next thing go check that purge valve up inside the engine compartment and be sure that it looks good and that there's no air is going on with it and so after you check out the purge valve the next thing you go and check is the vent valve and the charcoal canister and this will be located up underneath the vehicle by the gas tank somewhere. It'll, but it's just a square box looking thing that'll have different components and hoses going on with it. And different things can be tested on this, mainly this vent valve right here. If these go bad, they can be changed out by themselves or the whole charcoal canister could be changed out. If you have a good OBD2 scan tool, they quite often they have a test in there for this where they'll turn it on and off and you can hear it click. And if it is bad, it won't click. So there's different ways you go about troubleshooting it if you wanted to. But mainly come over, be sure these hoses all look good, that there's no leaks going on, and be sure all the wires look connected, and there's no opens or shorts or anything like that with the wires going to the charcoal canister. And so if you come underneath and you test out the charcoal canister and you test it out this vent valve and you, or you replaced it or something along these lines and the code still won't clear, then very likely there's a leak inside the system. And if you took it to a mechanic, what they do is they have a smoke machine and they feed smoke into the EVAP system and wherever the smoke came out, they would know where the leak's at. Now, very likely you're not gonna have a smoke machine, but what you can do is just go back through to all the hoses coming from the gas tank, going around to the charcoal canister, going back up to the purge valve, and just examine them really close and be sure that they all look like they're connected and that there's no leaks going on. Because any leaks inside the EVAP system is gonna cause a problem. And some of the other things to mention is that there's also a pressure sensor and this can be located differently. Sometimes on the fuel pump, sometimes up underneath by the charcoal canister, it could just vary. But there's also a pressure sensor in there that detects what's going on. And if that sensor fails, then it could send bad data back to the onboard computer that it just thinks there's an issue when there's not. And so that's just something else to keep in mind is that there's also a pressure sensor located somewhere inside of the system. And so that's basically it. I just want to give a real quick brief overview of how you go about fixing a Nissan with the P0440 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.